Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Rebrand Gaming here and welcome back. Last time we left off, we had entered... I forgot what this area is called already. Uh, oh, I got two abilities I can spend. We'll do that next. We're in the Breach. Specifically, I think we're in... I don't like that. I have a double cursor. Are we actually just straight up in the Breach? We're on our way to the Eternal Throne. That's all I remember. All right. I will have to fix this at some point. Inventory. Skills, real quick. So we want max that, and then frost or fire, or yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah, let's max these out, and then go for that. And then, because I don't think I was gonna use go for harvest, unstoppable is a nice though. Anyways, let's keep her moving. So yeah, now we're traveling through here. You guys dealt with me explaining I don't want to go for collectibles. It's kind of just me kind of rambling as I'm playing, talking about some of the random thing. Pretty much my weird opinions on how I want to play through this. And yeah, that's really all I'm doing. It's just kind of playing through this, having fun. A little trying to have fun. And I've decided it's not worth going through a new game for all of that. And so I've decided I'm not going to go for the completion run. And there's a chest over here. There was a key here. Got it. There's probably something up back here. I have no idea what this is for, though. Found it. That should explode almost immediately. Oh, that's a death grip. All right, where am I supposed to go? Ah, up over here. Got it. Up, up, and over. Let's go up. Yeah, we gotta go up first. All right, bam. Oh, this was just really a landing area. Got it. Oh god, and this has like the bad like God of War cameras too. Just I call them God of War cameras because I remember just having very bad cameras in the OG God of War. That that's just me being oh yeah, that's just me being biased. I'll be honest. Because it's also very present, especially in, like, Assassin's Creed 2. Which, also, that is one of the things that... Which, oh, okay. That was weird. I guess back up we go. Alright, that, that was weird. I didn't mean to fall down there. But yeah, no. Like, Assassin's Creed 2 is also bad. Also, Assassin's Creed is one of the games I plan on hopefully eventually getting to. Hopefully. Not sure if that's actually going to happen. Made it. Okay. All of that for a chest. Probably has nothing useful in it. Bam. Correct. Possible. And... Alright. Through the door, then. I can't really go up yet. Now we're into the Maw. Welcome to the Maw. Gosh, that is brutal and I love it. Okay, let's get charging. Wow. Sorry, my dude. Let's get moving, though. So I can't. Oh, I can't use my act when I'm on the horse. Kind of sad. But yeah, so you're going to see. I'm just kind of doing what I got to do now. I'm not. I'm not going to waste too much more time going for collectibles, trying to explore around. Because I'm not going to get anything good, I feel like, out of it. Like, there might be some good stuff, but I'm not going to go out of my way anymore at that at this point. So let's keep moving. Up we go. Why, well, hello there. Hello. Okay, you're dead. Wow, there's a lot of guys in here. 
But yeah, so part of the, there's a lot of games that I want to eventually get to, whether or not they actually get recorded or not. It's a different story. Some of them are not, I feel like are not well suited for recordings. Um, a lot of single player games tend to be, but sometimes with just how I play, a lot of games are not going to be suited like that. Like, uh, what is it? Like a lot of RP, like if I should go for 100% completion in the Assassin's Creed games, like this isn't like they're not good games to go for 100% completions for and record it. It's a lot of boring gameplay that I do not have the ability to just ramble on for. I can barely ramble on for these short videos where I'm actually doing meaningful stuff during it. It's if you're if you want an idea of what I'm talking about by I can't ramble and be interesting for a long period of time, check out uh, the Darksiders 1 War Mastered Edition episode 25.5, I think. It's the bonus episode that I recorded of me running around for about five hours collecting stuff. Not only did I have um, my corrupt, uh, my recording get corrupted a couple times, but there's like it, almost most of it is me not talking. One, because I lost the uh, recording stuff, lost my because of audacity crashed and so i lost all of that but on top of that like there it was just i was just unable to talk for a lot of it and you notice that cause there's like the first like 10 minutes are there and but everything after that's kind of gone up until like the last half hour or so like it's just a lot you'll learn very quickly like i cannot keep talking to save my life i kind of suck at it Unless I go on some weird random tangent, but I get stuck on the exact same conversation. It's like, who wants to listen to me talk about the same thing for about 20 minutes? I don't know. I don't like doing that. All I know is I'm sitting here watching War do something cool. And we're going to figure out what this is. Oh, he's ringing the bell. For whom the bell tolls. What is this? Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Brutal. So, this reminds me, I, know, I think it's Pandora's Temple. Again, I keep making references to God of War, the original God of War. That's because I played the original God of War when I was a kid, and I loved it. It was my first game like this, and so I see a lot of parallels between in these series to that. And you can't tell me you, if you're here watching this, that you don't if you've played them. The difference is this is more. It has some very light, I guess, Christian? Yeah, I guess some more light, maybe some... Maybe some light Christian, some Nordic... Stuff in here. But... God of War was, obviously... Well, I say obvious... I say obviously, because I feel like a lot of people know this, but... I couldn't quite possibly be wrong. But it's not, it's very much Greek mythology, at least for the original. I think it was one through, it was one through four, which also included, I think, Ascension, Ghost of Sparta, and something else. And those were very heavily Greek mythology. And so you deal with like the sirens, you have a lot of like Kratos doing stuff. I mean, you're literally start killing, like, the first boss you fight is the Kraken in the Aegean Sea. The, the big bad is Ares. I just fell. The big bad is literally Ares, the god of war. And you're giving the help from Athena, the goddess of war. Like, 
you first like you get abilities from Poseidon and Zeus and Hades. Like clearly, this game is not just uh, what is going on here. I don't know where I'm jumping to. Okay, I guess I'm here now. This is some weird stuff, and I'm kind of liking it. The issue is I don't know where I'm at. Okay, we're here now. But no, so like, I enjoyed playing the original God of War. The issue is, I would love to play it. The issue is, it's one of those games that I do not have legal access to it, as far as I know. And I'd like to play it on PC. Well, so let me phrase it. I have legal access to it. It's on my PS2. Issue is, I don't have a way to record me playing it on PS2. I think that would require a capture card. Which I do not have. And then, also for that, I would then have to... It's just a lot of stuff that I, I pretty much don't want to go through. Even though it's such a great game, in my opinion. It, like, God of War 1 is pretty much nostalgia for me. It's like, uh... There's a lot of weird nostalgia games out there for me. And if I could play them, I definitely would. But I don't think I'm going to be able to play a lot of them. So a lot of them were PS2 games or GameCube games. That I just... That really didn't get a PC port. And I think I I would be I might be wrong, but I think PlayStation quit doing a uh, a lot of their older game like their I think they're shutting down their PS3 game stores soon. I think that's what they were saying. Yeah, I think it was PS3, which would be all the God of Wars that I grew up loving. So those are no longer available, at least to me. And then you also have I guess we're jumping down. Where? Oh, okay. Doesn't mind we jumped on here. But yeah, and so it's a lot of games that, like, I just enjoyed playing that I don't think are available anymore. At least Microsoft is kind of doing something nice for that. To where, so, like, for example, another one of the games I, w I would like to do is Saints Row. Saints Row 1 is not available, it's only available on 360. Saints Row 2 has a bad PC port on, but is also available on 360. I can, using the backward compatibility on my Xbox One, I can play it on that. And then from there, go for my Xbox One and stream that to my PC and then record my PC gameplay. And actually play it with a keyboard and mouse if I wanted to. But that's, that's it. It's a headache. There's also emulators for 360 that I'm trying to get to work. The issue is because I don't own a uh, 360 anymore. I can't use that emulator because I can't actually rip the files that I need to rip and yada yada yada. Serpent Tone? Yeah, so pretty much Crucible. Where are we? But no, so there's a, just a lot of stuff that... A lot of games that I would like to play that I just don't have access to, like crack, Crackdown games are another one. Um, I can play Dead Rising 1, but I can't... But like Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 2 Case West... Sorry, Dead Rising 2 Case 0 and Case West are, if I recall, 360 arcade games. I can get around those doing the same thing I can for like Saints Row 1, Saints Row 2, the Crackdown games. Really just anything that are like 360 games that aren't no available. The Lord of Bones without of his chancellor. Who can I talk to the Chancellor then? A rider in the Kingdom of the Dead? No no, this will never do. Are you Chancellor Palpatine? Are you going to electrocute me and say, UNLIMITED POWER? <laughs> that is not possible. 
make it possible. Well, I'm in his realm, so he must attend to me. And what is your use as a doorstop? There is but one way to draw him from his slumber. The Gilded Arena. Here, mortals are offered a last chance to earn freedom from the grave. A boon that includes an audience with the king. So, slaughter. Defeat the arena's champion and return here with its skull. His majesty will grant you an audience. Okay. Where is this arena? Yeah, where am I going? Ooh. Hey. Oh, are we headed there? Or is this the arena? We have already arrived. Oh, nice. Yes. I'm here to speak Let to the speak king. To the Lord of Bones, and I will spare your champion, and perhaps you as well, Chancellor. <laughs> oh. You cannot slay that which is already dead. But I... you're welcome to try. Can I not? In the arena. Forget All right. What I said about sparing you. No, tell me about, tell me about the king. The yes. Dead. His reign is eternal. His word is law. And his time is invaluable. Why does this guy look familiar? Sure that he need only speak with those who are worthy. You they are not worthy. Oh. oh. Oof. Tell me about Echidna. What does Echidna have to do with your kingdom? Last I heard, she had one of her own. The Shadow Realm, Isolik, yes, where the sisters sightless spin their webs. Many of my lord's foes escaped there when his rule was still young. So he just them down. said sisters. Echidna herself barely escaped. Perhaps she took shelter here and yet weaves her evil. So the sister sightless, is that like supposed to be a a rough, not directly a reference, but are they supposed to be similar to the three sisters of fate from Greek mythology or like, what are they? The weavestresses from uh, The Witcher 3, who I think are also probably based Your off of sisters of fate in a way. Is he, Chancellor? There was another, a creature called Argu. Too mad to be kept upon the throne. Nice. I helped my lord be rid of him, and even destroyed a few of his servants. Tisk, tisk. What would my lord do without me? Do He'd probably do well. In the arena, Should I am going to kill to you. Him? I'm not sure if I could live with myself. Man, I can't wait. Can can I kill you in the arena too? Ooh, skill point. Bam. All right, let's get moving. Oh, yeah, I want to get rid of that guy. I want to, I want to fight the Chancellor. I want to fight Chancellor Palpatine. All right, let's try to get to the arena now. How am I supposed to get over there? Can I wall run and I'm just being dumb? Oh. Not quite. Ceiling climb. And I wish there was a faster way to navigate this. Um, can I drop? I'm gonna say yes. And a loading screen to get through the door. We're getting close to the arena. Who are you? What? Are they fighting? Who are you? Oh, you're back. You have coins to spare. You again. How did you get here? A merchant knows many roads. Not all of them are shared with horsemen. But I'm not a horseman. I'm a Nephilim. <laughs> Terrible dad joke. Zero out of ten. I'm fired. Yes, until we meet again. Oh. Alright. Um, 
how far are we going to get before we actually get into the arena? So we're now actually in the Gilded Arena. I think I'm going to stop when I see the next door. Hopefully at the bottom of the stairs here. Yes, alright. Oh, we can keep it going though. Alright, well, I'm going to call it here guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Later.